Exact Flat. We help pattern makers make better products faster. Hi, this is Eaton. And this is an Escalade. Today, how to make a paint protection film pattern from laser scans. We're starting with a finished laser scan that has already been imported into our CAD program. And we're going to go through the process of flattening this laser scan and creating a template that can be put back onto this Escalade's lower front fascia. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a new mesh because the laser scan often picks up excessive detail that is not helpful. It just slows us down. So we simply select the part in question. We have a couple of settings here. We're not going to talk too much about the settings today. Generally speaking, once you set this up once, if you're in paint protection film, you don't have to do it ever again. Essentially what's going to happen is we're going to reduce the complexity of the mesh and have it better represent the geometry that we want. So we click start. Now let's look closely at what's happening here. We are decimating or reducing the number of vertices on this mesh. And you can see the triangles are redrawing themselves and it does this just in, you know, just a few seconds, certainly under a minute in a part like this. And that's it. Now we have a part that's going to better represent the geometry. It's going to give us more accuracy. And we have deleted the unnecessary detail that is not helpful for creating a pattern. Next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to flatten this. And it's pretty easy to flatten. You select it, you hit enter. There it's flat. But our job is not done yet. We have to optimize this still. So let's just go into a different view. We can uh, talk about the results of this initial stage of flattening. So here's our 3D part. And here it is in shaded view, and it's been flattened. You can see the red and the yellow. Those are areas of high strain or elongation where you'd have to stretch that film. But we're going to eliminate that. We're going to optimize the shape of these patterns because it is not yet ready to put on the car. We do that by optimizing our fit. We have our spring process right now. And um, the spring process is pretty simple. Um, you select the part, you hit spring, and what it's going to do is it's going to redraw the boundary and the pattern uh, of a geometry, and it's going to search for areas of strain and areas of sag. These are bubbles or wrinkles that it will be searching for, and eliminate them. And you can see by our color code, the color code is changing. It is essentially trying to optimize the entire pattern piece for minimal strain and minimal sag. So the black areas indicate a little bit of sag, and the white areas, cyan, indicate areas where things are going to fit well. Now you can see along some of the edges, this geometry is uh, a geometry of high curvature. There's a small, small, tiny fit, but this will not be a problem when this is wrapped onto the bumper. Flattening process doesn't take too long in a part like this. Here we go, okay. And there's your flat pattern. That is your optimized flat pattern template that you can cut out and put back onto this car. Now, in order to do that, we're going to save this file. We're going to save it as a DXF file. DXF files are the files that you use for plotters and cutters. So you have two choices here. You can either send this to a plotter and uh, plot it out and then lay your film down on top of that template and then use an X-Acto knife to cut out your template or send it to a cutting table. Uh, you get things precision cut um, with a perfect pattern and precision cut. You're going to get a very well-fitting part afterwards. And there it is. That is is the finish. You can see there's a faint white line there. Not to worry about that, that's a grain line. Useful for other industries like carbon fiber and other types of industrial fabrics. But for paint protection film, if you don't like it, you can just turn it off. It's not that, uh, not that important. And that's it. This has been for paint protection film pattern makers, how to create a pattern from laser scans. Now you're probably wondering what type of scanner do we use in this particular project? Well, there's many kinds you can use, but this is one, it's called a Peel 3D. It's pretty easy to use. Just pull the trigger, use it. If you want to know more, contact Mark. Mark Jewell at exactflat.com. Mark is actually an expert. He's done many, many, many thousands of projects like this. And call him and he'll be happy to talk. Exact Flat. We help pattern makers make better products faster.